as a bird, you don't think much, just in general. There's fleeting thoughts, of course, mostly needs. If you're thirsty, seek water. If you're hungry, seek seeds. If you're cold, seek warmth. It's difficult on occasion, but for the most part, it's a straightforward existence. That being said, certain birds are a bit stranger than others. There are birds that have bad habits, and there is one particular morning dove who frequently found herself in odd places by no choice of her own. Not that she seemed to mind. In fact, it appeared that she enjoyed the whimsy, just flying where her wings took her. But out of all the places she had inadvertently ended up in, there was one that stood out to her as the most amazing, the most exciting and thrilling place she had ever seen with her beady little eyes. It was an anime convention. The first thing that struck her when she ended up in those rafters was the colors. Everywhere she looked, there was bright, unnatural hair, perfect for nesting with. She tried to move in closer to see more when a big television caught her eye. A video game trailer was playing on the screen. It was there she saw the most beautiful human she had ever seen in her life. His blue hair, his muscles. Her heart was moved. She couldn't bring herself to look away. In a way, that moment changed her. She had never cared much for the affairs of humans, but now? Her feathers quivered in excitement as she watched the newfound recipient of her affection swing a sword. How cool, how suave. She could have watched him forever. The weekend went by faster than she could have imagined. When everyone left and the convention hall was abandoned, she felt a profound sense of emptiness, sitting in her makeshift nest of stolen wig hairs and bits of convention programs. The bustling of humans and noise, the shiny elation of it all, made her reluctant to leave. But being inside without any humans meant no food. She stayed as long as she could, but when she had eaten the last overpriced convention hot dog scrap, she took flight with a heavy heart. But those sparkling images would remain in her mind, keeping her spirits high for years to come. Five years ago. It was cold and dark, and the little bird was hungry. In the distance, she noticed the tiniest flicker of light. Her mind immediately jumped to warmth, and she dived towards the flame. As she squeezed her body through the crack in the window, she was startled by the sound of the wooden frame slamming down behind her. It seemed she had dislodged the small rock holding the window open and in a hurry to get inside. No matter, it was more important that she let the heat soothe her shivering body. Approaching the candle, she breathed a sigh of relief. Fluffing her wet feathers in front of the flickering light, she finally looked around. She was in what appeared to be some kind of laboratory. She peeked at the formulas and figures on the chalkboard, but she couldn't make any sense of it. She took some time to let the warmth permeate her hollow bones, then prepared to take flight again into the night. But it was then that she realized she wasn't strong enough to lift the window to get out, despite her best efforts. She felt momentarily concerned before thinking to herself, It was fine. Surely someone would come and open the door or window eventually. And so she sat, and she slept, and she poked around the lab. But 48 hours later, panic was starting to set in. She couldn't find any water. There were plenty of unidentifiable liquids in various test tubes and vials, but how was she supposed to know if they were poisonous or not? Her dry throat and weakening body gave her little other option. She'd have to drink one. She picked the one that seemed the least threatening, a bluish liquid that most resembled water. She paused, wondering if it was worth the risk, but she had limited time before she would die anyway. It was now or never. Closing her eyes, she dipped her beak in. It tasted terrible, but the sweet hydration led her to gulp after gulp, as far as her beak could reach. At first, she felt only relief, pure bliss at finally having something coat her dry throat. But then her chest began to feel warm, unnaturally warm. This is it, she thought. I'm gonna die. Her chest burned. She felt herself fall onto her side as her consciousness faded and the world became black. When she woke up, she yawned and went to ruffle her feathers before realizing that something didn't feel right. She looked at her wing, then screamed. It wasn't a wing. It was a human arm. It was skin. What the fuck? What the fuck? She grabbed her hands, her elbows, her face. No feathers at all. It seemed like she was wearing clothes, but she had no recollection of putting them on. She ran her fingers over the pink fabric. It was soft. There was a little black ribbon on her neck. She rolled it between her fingers. This was too weird. When she tried to stand up, she was surprised to learn that she could use her limbs without issue. It was just like when she was a bird. Her body was just... bigger. And less feathered. She barely had time to consider what this meant when the door slammed open. The former bird was greeted by an elf in a lab coat wielding a knife. Who's in there? He yelled before noticing her. What the hell? Who are you? 
How did you get in here? This is the third floor. Why do you have a knife? Just like with her limbs, her voice came out clearly without any effort. She gently touched her throat, confused, but didn't have time to think about it before the elf approached her, tilting her chin up towards him. What? He peered around the room until his eyes rested on the mostly empty vial. Oh. I'm sorry, it's just I got stuck in here and I was like, I was really thirsty. She stuttered, eyes trained on the knife. So you are... what, some kind of bird, originally? He finally put the knife down, picking up the test tube and shaking it slightly. I have to admit, I'm surprised this worked as well as it did. This was an experimental potion I've been working on, but I got sidetracked. It's supposed to turn an animal into a human, or vice versa. He peered at her jacket, lifting the sleeve. These look like feathers, so I'm assuming a bird. I didn't want to look at a bunch of naked people while testing this thing, so it's supposed to put clothes on you too. I'm glad that part worked. This is actually pretty convenient. I was looking for a test subject. He seemed to be speaking his thoughts aloud, and he had quite a lot of them. With the initial shock subsiding, annoyance crept in. A test subject? Seriously? And it's a morning dove. I'm, I'm a morning dove. A morning dove, huh? Columba Day. Interesting. I should write this down. He patted his pockets. Hold on. Wait right there. What should I call you? I guess... Dove? Wait right there, Dove. I need a pen. He exited the room so swiftly that Dove couldn't even react, just stared at him leaving, mouth agape. He returned shortly thereafter with not only the pen, but what appeared to be a hastily made sandwich in a container of water. Dove felt her stomach growling when she saw it. It seemed that the alchemist heard its pained cries and chuckled, putting the sandwich and water in her hands. Here, eat. As much as Dove wanted to be indignant, she had to be grateful. She was starving. Looking back and forth from the sandwich to his eyes, she at last gently took the sandwich. She took one bite, then began to shovel as much of it in her mouth as she could. She chugged the water in what was only a matter of seconds. Whoa, slow down. You okay? The elf tilted his head with concern. Dove swallowed, then took a moment to catch her breath before asking. Who are you? Where am I? Oh, I guess I forgot to introduce myself. Apologies. I'm Thaden Dragmire. He absentmindedly played with his short ponytail as he spoke. I'm an alchemist. Although, some call me a warlock. I dabble in science and magic in equal measure, so I suppose either one is technically accurate. He pulled a seat over from one of the desks, gesturing to another one nearby for Dove to take. You're in my home. It's a, I guess it's a castle, if you want to be specific. I see. Dove looked around with her new point of view, the height of a human. It was a little disorienting. Okay, Dove. How's this? Just let me take some notes about your transformation, and then I can turn you back into a bird. Does that work? Thaden asked. Dovely looked down at her human hands, and a realization dawned on her. She was a human now, with human hands. She could do things she had only dreamed about. She could watch anime freely. She could play video games and see her blue-haired husband. She didn't have to wait for someone with thumbs to do those things for her. Her eyes sparkled with exhilaration. She didn't even notice that Thaden was waiting for an answer. Dove? Hello? Does that work? His eyebrows scrunched together and he quickly scrawled a note. The subject is... spacey. Can't tell if it's due to the potion or if that's just her nature. No! She blurted out. She grabbed his hands in hers. I want to stay a human! Thaden's eyes narrowed. His reaction caught her off guard, and she dropped his hands. He opened his mouth, slowly, before speaking. I'm not so sure about that, Dove. To be a human is an incredibly difficult and painful thing. Being a bird is much easier. Not to say that there's no happiness to be had in being human. There certainly is. But there's a price to pay for that happiness. Dove met his eyes with irritated indignation, but was taken aback when she saw no condescending attitude there, only genuine concern. Dove paused for only a moment before answering. I appreciate your concern, but I've always dreamed of being able to watch anime and play video games and open chip bags by myself. I may not know what exactly being human entails, but it can't possibly be so bad that it outweighs that. And have you heard of Krom from Fire Emblem? If I'm a human, I can kiss him. Thaden briefly wondered if he should inform her that Krom was not a real person, but decided against it. She would find out. 
And the despair that she'd feel then, well, she would quickly learn a taste of the kind of disappointment that only humans could experience. He ran a hand through his bangs and sighed loudly. All right, all right. You can stay a human if you want to. But there's more to being human than kissing Krom Fire Emblem. If I let you do this, stay in human form, I don't want this to reflect badly on me for setting you loose on the world. Stay with me for a week. I'll teach you the basics of being human. Then you can go out and experience what it is to be human for yourself. Yes! Thank you, Thaden! Dove cheered and rubbed her head into his, messing up both of their hair. That's... okay. No. Humans don't do that. I guess this is going to be our first lesson. Thaden fixed his hair, silently asking himself what he'd gotten himself into. Come along, Dove. I've got a spare room. You can stay there for now. Does it have a gaming system? No, it doesn't have a gaming system. I live in a castle. I don't have anything like that. This time, Thaden did wear a condescending look that asked, Are you stupid? I want to leave. Well, too bad. You can't leave. Come on, let's go. True to his word, Thaden spent the week teaching her basic human behavior so she wouldn't terrify or perturb the general public. Somewhere along the way, he had begun calling her Dovely. When Dovely pointed it out to him, he huffed that it was because he was getting it mixed up with the word lovely. He would sooner die than admit it was affectionate. Despite his obvious genius and mostly cool-headed demeanor, Dovely was quick to notice that he didn't have many friends coming in and out. He said that he liked it that way because it let him focus, but Dovely had a sneaking suspicion that he was secretly happy to have company. Though the how to be human lessons often ended with them screaming at each other and butting heads, Dovely thought it was the most fun she'd ever had. Not that she'd ever say to his face. But she knew she couldn't stay. After all, the man didn't have internet or video games. It was basically unlivable. At the end of the seventh day, Thaden led her to the front door, opening it wide. Here. He handed her a small backpack. A stock of potions, just in case you change your mind about wanting to go back to being a bird. Or just to get out of a pinch, even. And some food and things, just enough to get you back to civilization. Thaden. She looked up at him, clutching the bag like it was a treasure. He could see the gratitude in her eyes. Embarrassed, he looked away. You've made your choice, Dudley. Go. Find out what it means to be human. And when you feel like you've figured it out, come back and see me again. I'll be waiting. Present day. Almost there. Dudley ducked beneath a branch, pushing the leaves away from her face. Ah, there it is! She gazed at the castle, still as overbearing as she last remembered it. They'd send countless letters back and forth, but this was her first time seeing it in person since then. I wonder if he looks any different, she mumbled to herself. She absentmindedly adjusted her bracelets and smoothed her skirt. When she found the stone path hidden beneath the vines and moss, it was fairly easy to get to the entrance. She leaned her head back to take in the door. Somehow, it still looked exactly as she remembered it, several sizes bigger than it had any need to be. She reached her hand up to the cold iron knocker and briefly considered doing three polite knocks before grabbing the knocker and slamming it into the door repeatedly as hard as she could. Thaden! It's doubly! It took about eight knocks before the door was thrown open. A familiar tired face peered back at her, his usual calm demeanor only thinly veiling a lopsided smile. Another thing that hasn't changed, she thought gleefully. Dudley threw open her arms and beamed at him. I'm back! Hello? Hello? Hi guys! <laughs> Thank you! Welcome! Welcome to my room! That was awesome! Thank you so much! Thank you! Welcome to my room, guys! Thank you guys so much for coming! So now I would like to show you. Ah, Lacey! Thank you for the five gift subs! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Yeah, new, new, new room, new room. But yeah, are you guys ready to see? 
see me? <laughs> Here's my toe. <laughs> like my toe? <laughs> There's, there's my feet. For free! Yeah, for free! Just for you! Just for you! Free toes! Hello. Hello. Chris, thank you for the sub! Thanks, sub for feet! Thank you so much! Thank you! <laughs> Don't put the toes! There's some ankles for all you Victorian era lads out there. Here are my ankles. <laughs> Non stop, not November. <laughs> My legs. Got some legs. Some leg action. <laughs> I am a Victorian lad. This is for you, Rose. <laughs> Chicken legs. Got some knees. Got some knees here. This is both un most unorthodox. It's it's it certainly is. It certainly is. Here are my here are my knees. The stockings are really cute. Thank you. I think so too. I really like them. Ah ha ha. The tights are cute. I think so too. Fresh shaven leggy. That's right. Fresh shaven leggy. A tan. That's right. That's right. I got a little tan, guys. After being in the sun. <laughs> Previously, I had never been in the sun. <laughs> Okay, guys, what I'm about to show you next. What I'm about to show you next. It might be a little much. It might be a little much. much now. Yeah, yeah, thank you for the sub! Thank you! Thank you! It's beautiful! I'm glad you think so. Yay! Lovely redebut! Yay! <laughs> I can hear the gates of heaven closing! <laughs> dumb wiggles! Yeah, dumb wiggles! Dumb wiggles! Yay! <gasps> Chris, thank you for the pets! Thank you, thank you! I love the little bell. Me too. I really like the bell too. Going. See a little bit of my hair. A little bit of hair. See my little sleeves. See my bracelets. My. See my belt. Yeah, yeah. The corset. Yeah, you like it. I like it too. The donkers. Okay, you guys. <laughs> you guys ready? You guys ready for this? Hi. I fear Chad. <laughs> they looked at me first. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys? You guys like the um the little gem? It's like the little gem. <laughs> Where are you looking? Hmm? Where are you looking? 
You're looking at my necklace, right? Right? <laughs> So nice, isn't it? I think so too. I really like it. A little peek. Outfit? Uh, no, Alistair, I've been wearing this uh, the past two years, actually. <laughs> nice to meet you again, Queen. It's nice to meet you again in my new form! Yay! And I also, I also have a few expressions to show you guys. A few? You got a haircut. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. I got a haircut. That's all. Greatest <laughs> one I've ever seen! you I am reborn well not really I, it's just five years have passed that's all <laughs> the potions did the work welcome to care so pretty thank you thank you but yeah let me let me show you guys my my expressions okay ready so first I've got Sam. This is when you guys, when you guys won't give me your bird seed. Why, why won't, why won't you let me poop on your car? I really want to. <laughs> <laughs> why would you not let me do that? <laughs> And then I have Anki. <laughs> Burr! Thank you for the five gifts. Or thank you for the four gifts and subs. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm, I'm going back to Anki. That's her TJ Maxx face? Yeah, this is the face I make in TJ Maxx when they won't give me the GG blanket. Oh. <laughs> can you show us your post times at Conqueror's Hockey next? No, I can only use Observation Hockey. We've gone over this. And then lastly, lastly, the Leech I'm Real. Hi, Breadfish. Yes, welcome. I am real. I am real. And then the the last one I have is a uh, blush. This is when you guys make me shy. Make me a little shy. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. Definitely when she sees Buggy the Clown. No. No! <laughs> Let's use for when people bring you a big bag of bird seed. Yes. Yes. Um, and then I I also um I also enjoy I can combine them, so if, if, if when you guys compliment me too much.
Loving all the wiggles. Thank you. Oh, Rose, thank you so much. Thank you. The hairspray is so cute, is it? I think so too. Tsundere mode activated. Yeah, it's my Tsundere mode. <laughs> so freaking amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna have the hair. Yeah. Yeah, I really, I really like it. I'm super happy. <laughs> my lovable wee bird can't be this cute. <laughs> Little gem sparkles. Yeah, I, I like all my little like all my little hanging bits. A lot of uh, like I also like on my on my belt. Um, my little like bird. My little bird pendant. I think it's really cute. I just yeah. I really like it. Um, I I hope you guys like my my post time skip look. Yeah, yeah. I need a jewelry top collab. That would be cool. <gasps> Yay! Mina, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. You're looking at me. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now that now that you guys have seen the model, um. I am going to do my debut presentation, even though, uh, some of you have already seen it. Just pretend that you haven't <laughs> seen it. <laughs> so let me- oh, but before- before I do, do you guys like my room? Do you guys like my room? I've got a loft. I've got a chair. I've got a bed over there. Got some plants. I- I like plants a lot. And it, uh, it matches me. Got the blue. Can I attend Birdhouse? I thought so too, yes. Where's the Buggy and Crom figures? One, I wouldn't have Buggy figures, okay? But Crom figures, uh, they're out of frame. <laughs> How was your wedding to Crom? Um, unfortunately, uh, I found out that, uh, Crom is trapped in a, uh, a box. He's, he's trapped in, like, this, uh, this digital box, unfortunately, but... Uh, I'm, I'm still working on the legality of marrying him in the box. We're working on it. Where's the doubly body pillow? I should have put that in the, um... <laughs> we gotta get him out of there! We gotta get him out of there! <laughs> you can marry the box. Yeah, yeah. It's legal. Okay, uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna work on that. Thayden, you did try to- try to warn me. Also, guys, uh, when I when I came back to Thaden, I brought him an internet router. So he he's got he's got internet now. I'm I'm proud to announce he's got internet. That's how he's here. He he got internet. <laughs> he has internet now. <laughs> the router is blinking. Okay, Thaden, you have to turn it off and turn it back on. Okay, is it blinking? It should be blinking blue, okay? You you got this thing. You can figure it out. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna move into my my debut presentation. It's on fire. Okay, well you you're smart. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Okay, so. Here I am again. <laughs> More like no metal alchemist. <laughs> so here I am. You look so good. I'm so happy. Thank you, Tips. Thank you. We're officially sisters for real. For real, for real. We've been waiting so long. I was driving so I couldn't type. Oh, that's okay. No worries. But yeah, uh, I am. Lovely Columba Day. I am in my mid 20s. Also, do you guys like my little doubly cursor? <laughs> I got this from Artie Sore, and it um, I got it back like literally yesterday, and I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I can use it for debut. <laughs> so, yes, here we go. Little. Uh, so I am in my mid 20s. Don't ask how old I am in bird years. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, my birthday is December 2nd. I'm a Sagittarius. 
<gasps> Debs! Debs, thank you for the 10 gifted subs! Thank you! Thank you! Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much for all the subs, guys. I couldn't say it um, during the lore video, but thank you so, so much. You guys are so, so generous, and I am so thankful, so thank you, thank you. Thank you, Dips. Thank you. I'm so I'm so proud to be your sister. Um, I am 168 centimeters tall. That's including the wing wing bits in my hair. You still lay eggs. Um, I can if I turn back into a bird briefly. I could theoretically still lay an egg, but I I've got human parts now. I've got human parts. Um, I am a morning dove. If you didn't know, I'm a morning dove. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, <laughs> even though it's what I am. These were these human words. They're too hard. Too hard for me. Um, I am bisexual. Uh, I know sometimes with YouTubers, it's very ambiguous. <laughs> If they're actually bi or not, but I can I can tell you that I am bi. I am. Uh, my blood type is O. I don't actually know what this means, but a bunch of people were putting it on like their information, so I was like, I'll put it there. I don't know what it says about me. I don't know what that means, but there it is. Um, it means I'm a universal donor. I'm the one that's like um that is really i think i'm o positive it's or whatever the most common one is <gasps> sorry welcome to the block welcome welcome it's great to have you yeah good to know in case i need blood yeah if you <laughs> if if i'm ever in a terrible accident i'm counting on you guys <laughs> and then um my languages i speak english i speak korean really badly and I speak Spanish really badly. <gasps> Drip! Thank you for the five gifts and thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Is donating blood through Twitch TOS friendly? That's a great question. I don't Lacey! Lacey, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the five gift itself. Thank you guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, thank you. Uh, um, like, but yeah, Korean, um, I only, I know barely anything. <gasps> Rez! Thank you for the five gifted subs, thank you. Thank you guys, thank you. I don't deserve you. <laughs> thank you. I know I am gonna run out of followers to get subs gifted <laughs> Hi Lily. Uh but yeah, uh Korean I can say um I think I say uh 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 That's that's it, that's all I know. <laughs> Spanish. Hola, como estas? Me llamo Dobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Mama and Papa. Uh, oh, Thayden! Thayden! Thank you for the five good. Thayden, you know that that button takes your money, right? That, that button, you spend your money. You spend money when you click that button. Yeah, they don't don't pre don't press the <laughs> don't press that button. <laughs> it's like a gotcha. No. <laughs> so funny! So funny! Thank you for the gift and sub. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are so generous. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys. Um, but uh, my mama is uh, Ninjinshiru. Ninjinshiru is my mama. 
and Sono is my papa. They both did a really good job and they made me so beautiful. So thank you, mama, and thank you, papa. For it! Thank you for the gift so Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys are crazy! You guys are crazy! What the heck? Thank you! Oh, Daniel, yes, yes! Oh, so hi, Daniel, I hope you're doing well. Um, and then the studio is Realm Live 2D. Uh, is the studio. Um, I've got a bunch of, uh, very, very cool siblings. Uh, Kitsu Korin is one of my siblings. And, uh, if anyone knows Kijit, Kijit's one of my siblings as well. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so what is a morning dove? Let's discuss. So morning doves are a graceful, slender-tailed, small-headed dove that's common across the continent of North America. It's one of the most abundant and widespread of all the North American birds. Uh, the mournful cooing of the morning dove is one of our most familiar bird sounds. Uh, so they're gray and brown uh, with large black spots on the wing coverts. And they're usually pale peach colored or gray on the chest. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wait, guys, I just realized I forgot to show you something. I forgot to show you something. I've got to show it to you. I've got to show it to you. I got to show you what I forgot to show you. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm approaching. I'm fast approaching. You're so ready. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Wait, can I, can I, can I lem? Hold on. <laughs> I can kind of do it, wait. I had it for like a second. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> the concentration. <laughs> That's what I forgot to show you guys. <laughs> now look straight up while doing that? Uh, what happens if I do that? Hold on. Oh. I see. Why didn't they kiss and flip flappers? 
yeah. I'm I'm forever, forever sad that they didn't kiss him for five hours, but um I love Mob Psycho 100. I love Fruits Basket. I love your Nevada Psycho. Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Um, I love Noragami. I'm planning to reread Noragami actually because it's ending soon. Um, so uh I want to like reread everything. And then um JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but specifically part four. Part four is my favorite. I really love part four. Um Spy Family, I love Spy Family. It's just it's so cute. Um number six makes me cry to this day. Oron was like the anime that like got me into anime. So it's like very near and dear to my heart. Uh, Plastic Memories made me cry a lot. <laughs> but I really love like the trope of like robots learning to be human. Um, so that one really that one really hit me. Really hit me. Um, and then Steins Gate, I love Steins Gate. And I also love One Piece, but I'm only on Dressrosa, so no spoilers. I like that I say only on Dressrosa. I'm like 600 episodes into One Piece. <laughs> but I'm only on Dressrosa. <laughs> But I really love One Piece. I really love One Piece. And then, uh, is Zom still your sibling too? Yes! So I'm still planning to, uh, use my pre-time skip model. Uh, especially when I'm collabing with my, my Wayne siblings. So that model isn't going away. I'm still gonna use it, but this is gonna be, like, my, my new primary model. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I still very much consider Wayne, um, my Wayne siblings my siblings as well. Sister W isn't dead. Yes, no, I'm still here. I'm still here. <laughs> Science Gate is so good. It is. It is. Bro, that's over halfway through. Yes, but I'm I'm still I'm still so behind. I'm still so behind. <laughs> um, I love Persona. I Persona 3 Portable is my favorite one because I love uh, FMC. Uh, fuck you, Atlas, for not bringing her back. I'll never forgive you. Um, Dragon Age. I really love Dragon Age. Um, Dragon Age 2 is my favorite, which is a little bit, um... Uh, it's a controversial opinion. A lot of people really hate Dragon Age 2, but Fenris is in Dragon Age 2. And I love Fenris. <laughs> I love Fenris. <laughs> So that's my favorite one. Um, and then Mass Effect. I love Mass Effect. I love Garrus. I love Garrus. He's the best. Best. Why didn't you mention Mass Effect before? I, I don't know. I thought you knew. It's in my rules, actually. And when you start chatting, um, one of the rules in my chat is that you can't mention that Tali is straight because it makes me mad. <laughs> I wanted to be gay with her! <laughs> Gary is sexy man. Yes, 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 yes. I want him to do calibrations on me! Um, I love indie horror games. I really like Eve. Um, you loved Jal a bit too much on stream. Ray, I will discuss that. I will discuss that later. She had so much bi energy. I agree. Why was she not bi? It's fucked up. Fucked up. I, I, Mito, I know there's mods, but it's like, but she should have been canon by, you know what I mean? Like, she she was giving. She was giving. But, um, I really love indie horror games. I love Eeb. Um, I just played Little Red Memories, and I really, really enjoyed that one, too. Um, and I played a lot back in the day. I played, um, like, Witch's House, I think it was called, and, um, there were a bunch. There were a bunch. But I, re I really like indie horror games. I think they're really fun. I love all Otome games. I have played almost every English Otome game release. Uh, there's only a few that I haven't played. <laughs> I love Otome games. <laughs> I have- if you show me- if you show me a, um, an Otome game, I can usually tell you who my favorite route was. You don't have- I don't have a problem! I play a perfectly normal amount! Fallon, yes! Me and Fallon did cosplay Eve and Gary back in the day. I was Eve and Fallon cosplayed Gary. Ma'am, where's Rune Factory? 
I should have put Rune Factory on here, actually. I'm sorry. Rune Factory 4 is my uh, my favorite because I love Leon. <laughs> Every Otome and Joy has a problem. It's called their favorite. Also, I'm aware, I think I'm pronouncing it wrong. I think it's like Otome is the correct pronunciation, but I've been playing them before I understood Japanese pronunciation. <laughs> so. Can't stay for love thank you. No problem, Sarah. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, my love to the moon, it made me cry really hard. <laughs> I, I like things that make me cry for some reason. I am a Matthew Mercer voice simp. It's true. I have a problem. I'm not really. <laughs> Always there for a Matt Mercer husband. Look, he has a beautiful, beautiful voice. And also, I think I've uh, I think I've told people this, but I asked Matt Mercer to prom back in the day, and he replied to me and asked when it was. <laughs> um, and he he couldn't go with me, obviously. But um, when I met him at a convention later, I mentioned that I asked him to prom, and he was like, "Oh my God, let's take a prom photo." So there exists a photo of Matt Mercer holding me like on, you know, in prom photos where like he, they hold you on the hips and you put your hands over theirs. So he took a prom photo with me, but I was so like shocked and like kind of like just, I don't know, like, geeking out that I didn't put my hands on his. And to this day, that is my biggest regret. I could have had my hands on his. <laughs> And I didn't! I'll never forgive myself! <laughs> but we still took a photo of him, like, you know, holding holding my hips, so that was cool. That was- that was cool. That was before he was married, for the record. <laughs> yeah, let's go meet him again. I would love to meet him again. He's a lot more popular now, though, than he was when I was, um... When I met him. When I met him, he- he was, um, he wasn't super duper big yet. He ended up blowing up later, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was before Critical Role got really big and things. Definitely knew him first. I did. I did. I knew him when his most notable role was Krong, so... I was like back in like 2014 or something. <laughs> um... I love Kirby! I love Kirby! I have so much Kirby merch, guys. It's not a problem, though. Not a problem. Um, but the thing about- Fire! Fire! Um... <laughs> his most notable role was Krom to you, actually, that's true. <laughs> that's true, he was known before then, but... But I remember, um, like, when I went to a panel back then, someone mentioned Critical Role, and he was, like, so surprised that, like, they actually knew what it was. So, it, it was before Critical Role got really big. You're only on just Rosa? Yes, I'm only on just Rosa, I'm sorry. But yeah, I love Kirby. Um, I will say my I have a flaw as a human being in that I take Kirby really seriously, and so I'm not very fun to play Kirby games with. Um, because I I rage. <laughs> I rage. <laughs> um, I I rage when people don't do what I need them to do. Like I was playing Kirby with a bunch of my friends and they kept like skipping over the um like I, I was playing Kirby Star Allies with my friends which by the way isn't a very good Kirby game so I don't know why I was so serious about it but they have little puzzle pieces that you have to collect and my friends were progressing the screen before I could get to the puzzle pieces so I started I started screaming at them <laughs> And I started being like, what the fuck are you doing? Go back! We have to restart the level now! You can't fucking... <laughs> and I got so mad. And they were like, we're never playing Kirby with you again. And I was like, aww. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I have a- I have a- I have what the- What they call a uh, bad attitude. <laughs> But, you know. And I love Pokemon. I've been playing Pokemon since I was a kid. So I really, really love Pokemon. I have played every Pokemon game. I actually have played every Pokemon game. The completion, it's life is hard. It is. 
or play your Wi-Fi Kirby win. I should do that. I should, like, I should do a Kirby collab, but I should, like, preface it by saying, like, I will yell at you. I don't mean it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Who's your fave Pokemon? Um, I'm obligated to say P-Dove. I'm obligated to say P-Dove. But, um, I really love Flygon. <laughs> Kirby collab to be abused by W. <laughs> Calling all massacres you need to <laughs> That would be really funny, actually. I'd have to find a bunch of them. A bunch of YouTubers who wouldn't be offended <laughs> by me screaming. Make your collab partner sign a waiver. That's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. <laughs> Yeah, I love Flygon. I've loved Flygon ever since I was a kid. Um, because when I was a kid, I had a, um, I had a Flygon card and it was, like, my treasure. Like, I, I just, I just think it's really cute and I think it's really cool. What's your favorite Gen 2 starter? Chikorita. Chikorita's my favorite. Chikorita's actually my favorite starter overall, which I know is, like, very... I haven't met anyone else who has Chikorita as their favorite. But um, I love Chikorita. I I love um. Some someone pointed this out to me. Someone pointed out that I really like Pokemon with long necks. And I was like, no, I don't. And then I looked at a list of my favorite Pokemon, and I was like, oh my god, they do all have long necks. <laughs> Which is so like weird. I love Tropius. Yes, I do. I love Tropius. <laughs> I think I just like brontosaurus looking Pokemon. That's your- No, it's not a fetish! I just- I like when they look like funny little guys. Like Giraffalic. Doubly exclusively makes dragon type teams. It's true, actually. Fallon does know that about me. I- I usually, when I make my Pokemon teams, it's usually all dragon types. Um. Probably because a lot of dragons have long necks, you know? <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> yeah, I just think it's funny when their neck is like super long. I'm like, you're so goofy looking. That's why I like giraffes so much too. I'm just like, you look so weird. I like things that just look strange and off-putting. <laughs> Alolan Executor? Actually, I don't- I don't- really like Alolan Executor. I think Alolan Executor is the one, um, it's the one that doesn't, at least type off-putting. I like, I like things that are weird and strange and vaguely off-putting. <laughs> so yeah, that actually is kind of accurate. What about new Raikou? Uh, Raikou? Uh, I don't know if I've seen the new one. Explains why you like us? No, that's not true. That's not true. Dove lives in the Uncanny Valley. Diglett is pure neck. It's true, but it doesn't like look like it is. <laughs> Dove leaves redebut roasting. <laughs> okay, um, uh, uh, anyway, anyway. Um, I really like Overwatch. It's sad. It's unfortunate, but... That's just how it is. I miss when Overwatch is actually good. Me too. 2016 Overwatch? That was the best. I would stay up till 2 a.m. I would play Overwatch with my homies. It was a better time. Now I play Overwatch and I play Overwatch like a tired addict who doesn't want to be playing Overwatch, but is still playing Overwatch. Old Overwatch was better. It really was. It really was. Overwatch in 2016 was like, it was a beautiful time. It was a beautiful time. I miss it. I really do. Now, now I play like a washed up addict. Yeah, back in my day, there were six people per team. That's right. Sure. Thank you for the resub. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Now I've got Overwatch. I love shrimp. Now I've got Overwatch 2 Stockholm Syndrome. That's right. Did you see the new hero? I did. I haven't played him yet, though. Maui looking guy. He is- he- he does look like Maui. He- he kind of talks like Maui, too. Um... He's a nightmare to heal? Oh god. He's just always going on and on his own. Impossible to reach. 
Um, okay, I love- oh, whoopsies. I love Deco 27. I love Kira. Um, I love Carly Rae Jepsen. And I like most pop music generally. I, I like really like- um, my friends have described my music taste as, uh, Candyland Threw Up. Which, uh, while a bit rude is kind of true. <laughs> I really like upbeat poppy music. <laughs> yeah, like I really like really upbeat like pop. Like, um I don't know. I, I just like any any kind of like accurate thanks, Dayton. <laughs> yeah, Zombies by Deco is so good. It's so good. I love that song. Uh but yeah. Um and then uh my general likes. I love my cats. I've got two cats. I've got a gray boy and an orange boy. They're both very stupid and they smell, but not really. They smell metaphorically. It's their behavior that smells. It's not like they physically smell. They're just stinky, but in a personality way. Kyo is an angel? No, Kyo is a bastard. I. You know how many times I've had to throw Kyo out of the sink today? Four times! Four times I've thrown that stupid little boy out of the sink. Today. Dove is stinky in personality and physically. How dare you? I'm very clean. I take bird baths all the time. Guess you could say it's not sinking in. It's not. It, it's not though. It's not sinking in. Yo wants a bath? I'm really about to like turn the water on while he's in there. Um, I love romance, which is why I love my Otome games so much. Like, I just really love... I don't know, I love romance! I love, I love, like, when I play my dating games, I'm like, my heart is moved. Yes, I love love. I do, I love love. I'm such, like, a hopeless romantic. So I really like things like that. I'm just imagining Dove sitting nude in a birdbath in a garden screaming at the other birds. I do that. That's, that's accurate. That's really what it looks like. Um, I really love sweet things. I have a huge, huge sugar tooth. I really like cupcakes. I like cookies. Well, I like certain cupcakes. I'm kind of weird. I don't like when they're like too, too sweet. Like it has to be like a, like a certain buttercream, you know? Like I really like buttercream. Uh, but it has to be done right. Like I feel like there's a lot that they don't do it right, but I love, um, I love anything sweet. I love boba. I love... I love macarons a lot. Macarons are probably my favorite. They're so... Like, I just love how they, like, when you bite into them, they're like... Like a crunch, but then it's chewy. An ice cream cone day... <laughs> yes! An ice cream cone a day does keep the depression away. Literally every single... Every single night. I eat dinner. I eat dinner. And after I eat dinner, I have one of those mini crunch ice cream things they're called like mini cones they're called like little cones or something and they're like these teeny little ice cream cones but i'm like well i need a sweet treat or i'll die so i have one of those every night after dinner <laughs> the blue bunny ones uh no but i've tried those i didn't like them as much though as the um as the crunch ones or actually lately i've been into uh, from Trader Joe's, they're called like just a just a cone, like just a little cone or something. Um, and they're just these little teeny little ice cream cones, and they're coated in chocolate, and they're really good. I like them. So that that's what I've been into lately. <laughs> um, and then I love streaming. I love spending time with you guys. It just like it just makes me really happy. I really enjoy. It. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got like, something stuck in my throat. Um, I really enjoy the time I spend with you guys. I love my little community. Um, you guys really just brighten my days and just like I'm I'm very passionate about streaming because I just I love it so much and I love you guys and I I love the time that we spend together. So. Oh, the dove loves. I love you guys. I love you guys. We love our Oshi. Oh, it's so sweet. But yeah, I've, I've said it before, but I'm never graduating. I'm here forever and ever. 
until I die. <laughs> Deadly best stream is 2K20 B. Oh, thank you. Um, my dislikes. I hate Sonic the Hedgehog not safe for work. That's disgusting. Get that away from me. I never want to see it. Ever. In my life. Um. I don't like when people ship Sonic with me. That's gross. That's disgusting. I'm throwing up. This is me right now. This is me right now when you when you when you say that stuff. I go Aah. That's how I feel. <laughs> yeah, so the um the doubly sonic emote you may have noticed. Uh well I'll I'll go into it later, but basically a bunch of people made fun of me for being a Sonic fan girl when I was younger, so we've got the doubly sonic emote. Uh to uh to commemorate that. I saw Olives and automatically thought she hates Olive Garden. No, I love Olive Garden. <laughs> um, I hate olives and I hate cucumbers. I used to have green beans on this list as well, but I started eating fresh green beans and they're actually not bad. I, I realized I just didn't like canned green beans. They're really gross when they're from a can. Fresh ones aren't too bad. Yeah, fresh ones are pretty good. So I had to take them off the list. So now it's just olives and cucumbers. Yeah, canned ones are disgusting. Oh, they're terrible. Olives just taste bad. Like olives are like the one thing that like I just I can't eat. It's just like vile. Both. I can't stand green or black. They're all terrible. I hate them. Yeah, all olives are bad. Exactly, Mallow. Exactly. Shrimp, are you an olive lover? You can have all my olives for the rest of my life. Um, I hate Joseph Joestar's cheating ass. Uh, I was a really big Joseph Joestar fan in part three because he was very dilfy and I was very into it. Uh, but then I found out he cheated on his wife. And I was like, fuck you. I hate you. You made me look like a fool. Because I was out there. The absolute Twitter saga from when Dove discovered Joseph Joestar's infidelity was one of the funniest things I'd ever seen. Yeah, no, because literally I was live tweeting, guys. Okay, so I was live tweeting JoJo as I was watching it, right? And all through part three, I was tweeting about how hot I thought Joseph Joestar was. And then I find out at the end that he cheated on his wife and I had to go and delete all of my thirst tweets about him because I was like, are you fucking kidding me? You make me look like a fool. I was here sitting, I was sitting here. I was tweeting about how hot you were. I was tweeting about how you were so sexy. And then I get to the end and you cheated on your wife. And then I have to go and delete all of my tweets because I'm not gonna sit there endorsing a t t a, the fucking cheater, right? I can't, literally, I threw him in the garbage. I said, I don't wanna play with you anymore. I was literally betrayed. I was betrayed. I feel like I was as angry as his wife. <laughs> so I, yeah, I threw him in the garbage. It was over. Me and Joseph Joestar's love, it's over. You're just mad that Josuke's mom is living your dream. No, I should be the one fucking Josuke's mom. Should be me. But yeah, I hate cheaters. They make me upset. Um, I hate when people are mean to my friends. It makes me really mad. I generally don't care when people are mean to me. It's just kind of like whatever, but when people are mean to my friends, I get really, I get really nasty. So, don't, don't be mean to my friends. They haven't done anything wrong. They've never done anything wrong ever in their lives. And if you're mean to them, unfortunately, um, you need to be euthanized. Next. I hate cockroaches, and I hate centipedes, I hate them, they're gross. I scream um, whenever I see like a cockroach, like I, <laughs> don't be getting bullied, don't want a bestie is being bullied, yeah, I can't stand it, I can't stand it, don't be mean to my friends. It's also just, I'm very selective about the people that I, I spend my time with, so like generally like my friends are, are the best there is, you know? They're, they're the best that life has to offer. 
So if you're mean to them, I will hurt you. In Minecraft. But yeah, I, I hate cockroaches and I hate centipedes. They're just, ugh, I can't stand creepy crawlies. They, ugh, I just hate them. They're the worst. I do not like. I do not like. So my Oshi mark is a bird, a dove, and then a nest with eggs because this is you guys. You're my little, you're my little babies. You're my nest. <laughs> um, my fan names is Love Doves. You guys are my love doves. Uh, my fan art is hashtag uh, Columb Illust. It's not Columb Illust. Columb Illust. Is very confusing. Adina, welcome! Welcome, fellow bird! Oh yeah, my love doves! I love my love doves! And my love doves love me! No, it's very sweet though. Like, you guys give me like so much like love and support just through everything and it, it means a lot to me, you know? I don't take it for granted. Um, my not safe for work is Dublood. That's where all the spicy art is. And in general, um, shipping is totally okay with me as long as the other party is okay with it too. Um, I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable in any way. Uh, so if, if they're like, no, then we gotta cut it out. But overall, you know, I'm, I'm cool with it. I think it's, it's just all in good fun, you know? It's just for fun. Love you. I love you too, Dibs. I'm a proud love devil, guys. Makes me emotional. Uh, so here are my goals. I want to reach 5k followers. This is kind of a lofty goal, though. Honestly, I'd be happy if I reached 1,000. 1,000 would be amazing. Um, I would love to have someone cosplay me. I think that would be so cool. Uh, I would love to be a guest at a convention. Um, I would love to release a cover song. That would be really cool. And five, I want to create a ha fun and happy community to make lots of memories with. Number five already done. Oh. <laughs> Deadly on a panel? I think that would be so fun. I would love to do that. That would be so cool, but yeah, I mean, these are long-term goals, so if I don't reach them, it's okay. They're, they're, I know they're kind of lofty, no. but you know, no harm in dreaming. And then I asked, I asked my love doves, so if anybody in here has not seen a doubly stream before, then I want you kind of go over the the jokes that you'll hear my chat referencing because I don't want anybody to be left out so if you're here now you're gonna learn everything so that you will not be left out and you'll know all the jokes and you'll be an old you'll be an old hand you know like every you'll be like I've been a loved up forever and, I, and you'll re reference these things and everyone will be like oh my god You've been a day one fan, and you'll look really cool and awesome. So, <laughs> things you should know. The wings in my hair are hair clips. They are not my ears. They are hair clips. And you can kind of see better in this model, my ears, my actual ears. In my pre-time skip model, you can't see my ears that well. So a lot of people would make jokes that the wings were my ears. <laughs> they are not my ears. They are hair clips. But my chat likes to joke that they're my ears. <laughs> Ren, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm spreading fake news. You're spreading fake news. Like, thank you. Blue, welcome in. Welcome to the box. Um, you will hear people joke about this a lot. I once got so bored at the opera as a child that I started eating the playbill. And my dad got mad at me. <laughs> so, 
Yeah. <laughs> You'll hear people make jokes about that. <laughs> um, I was a huge Sonic fangirl when I was younger. That's why you see the, the Sonic Dove emote um, in the follower emotes because uh, people like to clown on me because like I was so into Sonic. Like I read the Sonic comments. Vokui, welcome to the flag. Welcome, welcome. So glad to have you. Yeah, so I, I loved Sonic as a kid, so I read like the Sonic comics, so I have all sorts of- <gasps> oh, Thank you for the sub! Thank you! Thank you very much! I really appreciate it! Thank you, thank you! Uh, so I was a big Sonic fan girl. I read the comics, I knew the Freedom Fighters, I knew like the, you know, the subgroups with like the alligator and shit. Yeah, I, I knew it all. I knew- I was up to date on Sonic lore. Only two away from 880! Whoa! Let's go! Dip sense of regards! Ah, oh, Dips, I love you! Definitely was in those Archie comics. Listen, I was also really into Archie comics. Like, I also know a lot about Archie lore. Like, not, not Riverdale. Not Riverdale. I've never seen Riverdale. But the actual Archie comics, I was really into the Archie comics. I had a huge comic book collection as a kid. And a lot of them were Archie comics. Lacey, I didn't know you were. I really loved Betty and Veronica. Yeah, I loved Jughead. I know you meant the Sonic Archie comics, but I was also really into the Archie Archie comics. <laughs> I love Betty and Veronica. Manga collection reveal win. A lot of my um, a lot of my comics I think were like given away and things. I really like Archie comics. Me too. I loved Archie comics. <laughs> I hated Reggie. <laughs> Yeah, there's still um, a big box of my comics in my dad's basement, I think. But yeah. Yeah, I, I love- <laughs> Reggie can- <laughs> Reggie can suck my cock in hell. <laughs> I also liked Moose. Moose was the OG himbo. If anybody- anybody remembers Moose. Heavily, you look amazing! I really is! Thank you so much! I really appreciate it! Thank you! Um... I've lost my train of thought. Okay, so... On occasion, I will be good at video games. But most of the time, I am not. I'm bad. I'm, I'm really bad at video game. If you're coming to my stream for, like, pro gameplay, I am so sorry. You will be disappointed. I am really good with sniper rifles though for some reason. <laughs> like in Fortnite and things, I'm really good with sniper rifles. I don't know. Uh, I feel like it's so like, just random. I don't know. It's like I'm either really good or just dog shit. <laughs> and there is no in between. Your Twitch aim is scary on point. That's true, actually. <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom stream made me feel like a genius. Yes, when I play Legend of Zelda, I am dumber than a toddler somehow. <laughs> Truly. Uh, and so following up on that, I allow vaccining as long as it is not disturbing other members of the chat. I get really confused especially in open world games. In open world games, I have no idea what I'm doing and I need my hand held. So, I really appreciate backseating when I play open world games because I need help. Badly. <laughs> uh, I have a visceral hatred of rabbits from the Raving Rabbids series. I hate them. If I see them, I get pissed off. Oh. Oh, I made myself sad. Wah. Wow. Uh, wait, okay. I, I was trying to be angry. I hate rabbits. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. More drink, no snoot. Still fire? Why? Yeah, that's... <laughs> I reverted to a caveman when I was playing Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, I did. Every time I think about the rabbits, they make me so fucking mad. I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> Dove, how do you feel about marriage proposals? Totally okay. <laughs> Dovely secretly loves rabbits. No, I hate them. 
I want to kill them. <laughs> I need to run them over in my car. <laughs> um, something you might uh, hear, I cried on stream twice playing Metroid Dread. For some, something about Metroid Dread seriously tilts me and I just can't handle it. And every time I play that game, I get so angry that I start crying. I don't play Metroid Dread anymore. <laughs> the rabbits are pretty annoying. They're so annoying and they're so stupid. Like, I just, I hate them. Yeah, the high pressure chases. And also, I would just die to the same thing over and over. Like, I'm not really the type of person that actually learns from their mistakes. So I would just die over and over and over. And it would make me so mad. <laughs> You beat the boss, though. I did beat the boss. I beat the boss and promptly uninstalled the game. Lana, hello! Welcome in! Very pretty, thank you! Thank you, thank you! Yeah, the chases were brutal. Although I was really good at parrying for some reason. A bunch of people were commenting that when I played Metroid Dread. Yeah, I beat the very first boss. But, um, yeah, people... People told me that I parried really well, but it, it wasn't enough to make me not tilted. Yeah, you beat the thing that even 100%ers have trouble with consistently? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hated that game. I'm not playing it again. <laughs> um, the best positions to pray God praise God in stream. So this was a stream I did. Um, where I rated the best positions to praise God in. It was an infamous stream because I accidentally showed something. It, it was not actually a best positions to praise God in stream. It was a best positions stream. If, if, you, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Um, and I accidentally showed a position on stream. That I, uh, obviously, that was against Terms of Service, so that's, uh, that VOD was quickly deleted. But I did, um, I did end up redoing this stream without showing nudity, uh, pretty recently. So I, I've made up for it. I've made up for my, my past errors. And then, um, the Mass Effect scene was another time that I accidentally streamed nudity. I didn't know that the Mass Effect Andromeda sex scene with Jal actually showed things. And it did. <laughs> so that bot also had to be killed. <laughs> but, um, sometimes you'll hear people reference the fact that I've shown nudity on stream twice by accident. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, a uh, fact you should know, my brain remains bird-sized in human form. My brain is always rattling around in my skull like a penny. Dalt hangs dong, he does. He really does. True. Uh, I thirst over 2D characters a lot because I have no shame. Uh, basically anytime I play a game and I find a character attractive, I will be loudly drooling over them. I'm sorry. I can't help the way that I am. Also, I'm really into monsters. I talk about- I talk about fucking monsters a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't change the way that I am. <laughs> Jura is also really into monsters. It's true, me and Jura bond over that all the time. Me and Jura bond all the time over the fact that we love monsters. <laughs> it's okay, Deb, we accept you for who you are. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. I had a pet rat growing up, so you'll you'll hear some people refer to me as a rat girl. Because I had a pet rat growing up. And it's kind of funny, too, because the, my pet rat, um, I, I didn't have any, like, traditional pets growing up. Like, my, because it was just my dad at home. And so we, he, he was always working, so I was a latchkey kid. We never had time for, like, dogs or cats or anything like that. So we had a rat. And the thing is, you know how most kids, like, when they get upset, they, like, you know, they'll pet their cat or they'll hug their dog while they're crying and stuff? I was... 
I would go to the room with the rat, and I would sit in front of his cage, and I would cry to my rat about my problems. <laughs> I cried to the rat. <laughs> Therapist rat, yeah, literally, his name was Robbie. Robbie did not get paid enough <laughs> to be my therapist. <laughs> he was my he was my emotional support vermin. He was. He was a good rat, except he he would bite my brother. <laughs> uh yeah, so I would cry to my rat about my problems. <laughs> That's the most dumb thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my emotional support rat. <laughs> I wonder if they would have let me play, like, take him into venues and things. You're so sweet. I don't know if that's sweet. I think it's more like deranged insanity. But you know what? I did feel better after I talked to Robbie about my problems. So <laughs> your problems are truly complex. Have you tried giving me cheese? <laughs> Yeah, Robbie was a good therapist. He was. Um, something else you should know. I, uh, so I told this, this is actually a recent story, but I guess it stuck with some people. Uh, I am on a medication, a nighttime medication that makes me really, really tired. And once I take it, I'm out like a light. If you try to wake me up, I will get really angry and like aggressive, but I have no memory of doing it. So one time I went to a convention with Tasha and Tasha tried to wake me up for breakfast and I got really like rude with her and for those of you who know me, I love Tasha. Tasha is one of my best friends in the world. I would never, never yell at Tasha. Ever. Uh, but apparently Tasha tried to wake me up and I was like, what? And like it was really like rude to her. And like, I know I- No, Tasha, it's cause like, literally, I don't know why I did it. And I feel so bad about it. I'm like confessing my sins to the- to, in the confession box right now. And, uh, so Tasha was like, okay, I guess she's not hungry. So she- she went and she got breakfast, cause she was trying to wake me up for breakfast. And then I texted her after I woke up and I said, I woke up and you weren't here. <laughs> the nerve! The nerve of me! <laughs> The nerve of me to do that! That's so fucked up! I- I just- I can't believe I did that. To, to this day, like, I, I- I can't believe I did that. I- I don't know, that medicine makes me crazy. Like, I don't remember anything I do in the night. I- I remember things after I wake up in the morning, but the eight hours after I take that medicine? Nothing. I don't remember anything. And it's not Ambien, surprisingly, it's not Ambien. But... Yeah, so that's that's the medication I'm on. And so if if you hear me being a bitch, uh, actually, it was funny. Some of you made a joke. Uh, you started calling me bitchly, uh, nighttime bitchly, which I thought was really funny. I liked that a lot. So nighttime bitchly. <laughs> um, something something else. You should know. I, I break games on the regular. Uh, almost every time I play a game, I somehow get a crash that is- or a bug that is so bad, it literally- I have to restart the game, and I don't know how I do it, but I- at almost every single game I end up with like an unplayable error because I've gotten myself- like I clip through something, I get stuck in something that I'm not supposed to be stuck in. I don't know how I do it. I have- I have a superpower. Um, I also have really tiny hands. Uh, I've got really, really small hands. They, uh, I, I don't know what I can compare them to. It, oh, okay, if you, uh, I, I'm using an iPhone X right now. My hand is the size of an iPhone X. If anyone has an iPhone X, my hand is as big as the iPhone X. <laughs> hands Lee, yeah. Um, so I got really tiny hands, and uh, people make jokes about it a lot. And I've also got pretty small feet, but I think my hands are the, the weirdly small ones, mostly. 
Uh, so yeah. And lastly, I am no longer welcome at the local TJ Maxx. Uh, so I also wanted to say thank you to my pre-time skip art slash rigging mama. Um, Weenie Mama. I still very much love my model from Weenie Mama. I'm still gonna use it. Um, Hina, my, my chibi model. If anybody's seen my chibi model, Hina made my chibi model. And Mono Papa, my bird form. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I also want to say thank you to all the amazing people listening to my credits. Uh, I have all my credits listed below the stream, so if you want to go down there and uh, look, check out all the people that made everything possible, yeah! I, I really um, owe them a lot. And of course, you! Yo! I'm nothing without you guys, so I'm always grateful for you. Me? Yes, you, Spartan! You! That's you! That's you guys! That's you, Oya! That's you, Tasha! That's you, Lacey! That's you, Jared! That's you, Mito! <laughs> yeah! Uh, so yeah, that's, um, that's all I had. So, let me, I'll, I'm gonna go back to, uh, to just chatting now. So yeah, I hope, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoyed my debut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you too, Capo, and you too, Seru. Always. I'm glad. Thank you guys so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I figured just for the, the last half hour, we'll just sit and chat and hang out. I love this debut. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Thank you for such a banger debut. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I've been wanting to show you guys this... Um, this model has actually been in the works since 2021, uh, so it has been a very long journey to get this model. <laughs> um, it's because my mama and papa are like super super busy. Um, mama makes a lot of art for uh, um, gacha games actually, but I really really wanted um, Ninjinchu to be my mama, so I waited. I waited, and I, I think it was worth it. I really love my model. Two years of development. It was. It was two years of development. The work and effort you put in our parents. Super impressive. Thank you. Thank you. That's so sweet. Congrats on 40 plus concurrent P photo, by the way. Oh, thank you. Wow. Definitely is a gotcha waifu confirmed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a gotcha girl. <laughs> I'm, I'm a five star. Just slow cook their way to perfection. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I love it. I love, um, I, I feel so, I, I feel so fluid. My head turns so far. <gasps> Alistair, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, like I can, I can move around a lot. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, I'm wiggling. I'm wiggling. Congrats on the debut. Thank you, Funnin. It's so good to see you. I hope you've been well. C6W. <laughs> is that why the meat is so tender? Yes, it is. I was cooked. Cooked in the oven. I was gonna make a joke about hoping the boobo are gonna be bigger, but they actually are. My boobo are the same size. They're just, they're just less hidden now. <laughs> Not the ad jail, no! W, you wiggle so much now that you can do the animal crew now, the Anka dance! Wait, could I do the Anka dance? Actually, I probably could. <laughs> w, you've improved yourself. The Dove Booba buff impressive. Thank you. Thank you, Dove Booba. <laughs> but yeah, the um, a lot of people were like, you got much more tan, but actually, I feel like my... Um, I, I've mentioned this before, but I'm half Korean, right? So my actual skin tone is somewhere in between uh, my pre-time skin model and this model. It's like, um, I, I can get this dark in the summers, but uh, I'm, I'm usually like in between. So I'm, I'm happy that I kind of have like both now because I feel like 
I feel like both represent me in different ways. So, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The tan was definitely a nice touch. Thank you! I also just like tan anime girls. <laughs> I like yours. <laughs> but yeah, I like it. It looks good, thank you! Taste! <laughs> Gyaru W, yes, welcome to my Gyaru arc. <laughs> I support tan anime girls. Me too, me too. They're so good. Yara would be really dope. That would be really cool. I would love to do something like that. Oh wait, you, you guys want to see? Um, I when I was like playing around with this model, this is something I thought was really fun. And then I think um, I think I can move my mouse a little bit. Yeah, I can a little bit. This model is so nice. Thank you. Yeah, I really like it. It is really expressive. Like, I just I, I really like that I can kind of like look up at people now. Anyone with skills used to make that a gift or something? That would be really cute. Be really cute. Oh, also, do you guys like the new chat box? I really like it. I think it's super cute. Hopefully, it's readable. I I was kind of struggling with the dimensions a little bit. It's cute. Yay! Okay, good, good. Mhm. Mm okay, good, good. It is cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. It's legible. Perfect. New chat is nice. Is there a whole new overlay with it? No, no, just a new chat box. And new room. I've got a new just chatting. Just chatting room. My my bedroom. I asked for um readable on PC. Okay, perfect, perfect. I asked um the background artist Amorphia. I asked for um cottage core treehouse. <laughs> and I think they captured my vibe quite well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm pretty- I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, they kind of nailed it, right? Right? <laughs> oh, that was Palm. <laughs> did you hear Palm? <laughs> I did, I said Cottagecore. You hear a friend jiggling? Yeah, I got you. Let me see where he's at, hold on. I don't know where he is. I heard- oh, it's Kyo! It's actually Kyo, it's not Palm. Kyo! Hi! You wanna say hi? Say hi? You wanna say hi to them? He's like right in front of the mic. I'm trying to get him to talk. You wanna say something? No, you don't wanna talk? Kill, they say hi. They all say hi to you. What do you think about that? Okay, I'm giving him some pets, but. Yeah. Yeah, Palm was um Palm was all up on me earlier when I was uh, getting ready for stream. He was just like he would not get off my lap, and I was like, I was like, Palm, I'm trying to get ready. And every time I put like put him on the floor, he would just hop back up. Yeah, he, they're 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 needy guys, very needy guys. He knew you were nervous. He's such a baby. Yeah, it's so funny because actually, um. I was able to keep Palm in college because he was registered as an emotional support cat, but he was really bad at it because whenever I was like crying in college, he would come and he would stomp on my head until I stopped crying. 
So in some ways you could say he was good at his job, but also he was terrible at his job. He's such a bastard. He is a bastard. <laughs> but I mean, I did stop crying, so... <laughs> I guess he kind of did his job. <laughs> oh, wah, 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 stop crying for real. He would stomp on my head like it was inconvenience to him. I think he was explained his job poorly. Yeah, it, it's, it's whoever instructed him's fault. Which I guess is me, so I guess it's my fault. <laughs> oh, I was so nervous all day, and now I'm like, ah, oh, and breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> I hope you guys liked the lore video. I spent way too long editing it. I literally, f <laughs> I edited those subtitles onto for four hours yesterday. <laughs> It was really good. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys thought so. It was baller. Thank you. Emily's art is gorgeous. It really is. It was so good. You guys think so? Oh, I'm so relieved. I was like, I really hope everybody likes it because if I, I was like, if I worked on this for four hours and everyone hated it, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really glad that everyone loved it. And yeah, do you guys like the new emotes too? Oh, they're all by Sirika. Are you gonna upload it to your YouTube? Yes, I am, Bob. It's gonna get uploaded after, uh, after this. Yay. <laughs> Burning the what the fuck voice. <laughs> I had, I had, a, I had a lot of fun recording my lines. Um, you could kind of tell. <laughs> um, but Thaden did a really good job too. Uh, Thaden is, um, Thaden's one of my childhood best friends. So I, uh, I reached out to him and I was like. You wanna, you wanna voice yourself <laughs> in this video? And he was like, yeah. He did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I really appreciate his help. Thank you, Thaden. Thank you. You did great. His voice acting was incredible. Yeah! Yeah, he did a really good job, I think. He's a boomer, so... Well, no, he's not really a boomer, but, I mean, he didn't have a... Thought you commissioned him! You hear that, Thayden? <laughs> they thought you commissioned- They thought I commissioned you. He's so cool. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm hoping um I can do like some some collabs with Thayden, even though he's not he's not much of a streamer really. Um after I uh <laughs> wait, you guys are getting paid. <laughs> Thayden voiced by Matt Mercer! <laughs> You see him versus himself with the character. Yeah, he did a really good <laughs> Forget Alchemy, maybe voice acting is the career path for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have him commentate like it's Stanley's parable. <laughs> yeah. The, th the thing about Thaden too though is we've known each we've known each other since we were kids, right? So when we play games together, it mostly just devolves into screaming at each other. <laughs> So, I'm excited to do a Thaden collab so you guys can see how we we interact when I'm gonna drag him into a collab at some point. But, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm so glad you guys liked it. I, um, I wrote the entire thing. I, um, stayed up editing it. I know it wasn't, like, that exciting, but... I, I did work on it. I'm glad- I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. It makes me really happy to know you guys enjoyed it. Look at this kitty! Hi, Tally! Welcome in! Welcome in! It was fantastic! Oh, I'm so glad! All my hard work was worth it! <laughs> it brought a tear to my eye! I think you're being a little dramatic! <laughs> Thank you! What do you mean, not exciting? I just mean plot-wise, not a whole lot happened. <laughs> Pretty, <laughs> not not a whole lot happened. It was still a really fun lore video. I'm glad. I'm glad. Oh, I feel like all my hard work was worth it. I'm I'm so I'm so pleased. But yeah, and I'm really happy. Like my um, we got the new emotes. We got the new animated emotes. Um. Oh, there's a sticker up on my shop now, of of this uh this form. It's a little um like the little wiggly that I have of this form. 
Uh, so there's there's a sticker on my shop. I priced it as low as I possibly could. Oh, Pumpkin Patch! Yes, I remember you! Thank you so much, gorgeous new model! Thank you so much! Yeah, of course I remember you! Thank you so much for stopping in! Top of the subathon, dare I say, really? Oh, that's so sweet! Yeah, so, um... I do- we do have a sticker, but, um, I priced it as low as the site would let me price it, but it still feels, like, a little bit too high for me. <laughs> like, I wish I could price it lower, so I'm sorry, guys. I- I try to price my merch as, like, low as I can possibly make it. Like, usually I'm making, like, a $5 profit. <laughs> like, I- I make them, like, very, like, as cheap as I can because, you know, you guys are supporting me. I don't want to make you, like, pay more than you have to, but... The sticker, I'm not sure the quality of it. I didn't have time to like order one to test it. So I, uh, I'm hoping that it's good quality, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Are we gonna get an updated docky? Yes, um, I, as soon as I have the money to commission one, I will be getting an updated docky. Um, and I'm also gonna restock the old one too uh, when I have money. <laughs> I just don't have any money. That's why I worked on the lore video all by myself, because I'm poor. <laughs> but, um, that's not a bid for money. Please don't donate subs. It costs like 10 bucks in total for the sticker plus shipping. Yeah, but I mean, if it was up to me, it would be like $2. <laughs> you already have merch? I do. Broke gang. Yeah, you know who it is. <laughs> uh. Broke gang, broke gang. But yeah, I try really hard to. No, don't open your wallets, please. Spend the money on yourselves. I, I really, really appreciate the support you guys give me, but it's absolutely not um, not a requirement by any means. No. Just being here is more than enough. All I ask. Actually, it's a privilege just to have you here, so I don't, I don't even know that I would say I would ask for it. Your time, your time with me is very much. It's all the- all the payment I need. Aw, Zamponi! Thank you! Thank you for giving me a fun one! Thank you, thank you. But, uh... The sticker's so cute! Oh, thank you, Pumpkin! Thank you! Well, yeah, if you guys get the sticker, let me know how it is. Oh, Tasha! Thank you! Thank you for gifting us some! Thank you! Here's it enough, I need to bother you in video games. Yeah, I want to start doing community nights um, when I'm able to. I'm just so like, I'm so busy because literally all I do is work and stream and that's all I do. <laughs> I have no life. <laughs> ah, Lacey, thank you. Guys, stop gifting subs, please. I feel bad now. I feel like I was, I, I feel like I just like, I just forced you guys to do that, <laughs> please. The more subs we guess, we get the certainty we get an updated docky. I mean, that is true. Community Jackbox when? Soon. Soon. I would really like to. New docky font some more. No, 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 no. You guys have, you guys have been so, so generous. Please save your money. You, you've spent more than enough on me. Thank you so much. But yeah, I definitely do. I want to do like community game nights. Um, I gotta, I'm gonna carve, uh, time in my schedule. This is all for the new docky. Actually, get. Vito! Bits are free today. Bits are not free today. Bits are five. <laughs> that was five dollars. <laughs> Thank you, Vito. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, Jackbox. I definitely want to do like a Jack's. Jack. Why can't I speak? A Jackbox night with you guys. Um, bits are not, in fact, free today. Please save your money. <laughs> you guys have been so generous today. But I will tell you, all of the money that I got from this stream, I will put towards the new docky. <laughs> or a booba mouse pad. Those were the two things I was looking at. You guys want a booba mouse pad? <laughs> I was looking- I was looking at my, uh... <laughs> I was looking at artists I could commission and there was one with a booba mouse pad. I was like, oh, I want a booba mouse pad of myself. I think that would be fun. A booba mouse pad? I would be a lot for a booba mouse pad. <laughs> I really- I just think it would be so cool. How will I explain this to my family? That's true, actually. <laughs> you, Tasha, you don't have to get one. 
But yeah, um, in terms of merch, I want to, um, oh, I'm gonna have charms very soon. I commissioned an artist for, like, a, a little charm, um, but it's still in the works. I was hoping it would be done by now, but, um, sadly it, it was not done by now. So as soon as, uh, that's done, there's gonna be a charm up in the shop. And then I want to make a booba mouse pad and I want to make an updated docky. Yeah, big plans, big plans. I just wanna like do the absolute most I can for you guys, you know? Like I just, I wanna, you guys give me so much happiness. I'm like, I wanna give you guys everything I can give you. <laughs> yeah. You do plenty for us to, no, no. You guys, uh, your, your support and everything. We love you. I love you! I love you! I think about you guys all the time. Like, everybody, like, if you're a regular in my chat, I think about you all the time. I'm like, I hope they're doing well. I hope, I hope this person is doing well. I hope everything is going okay with this. When you guys, like, mention, like, your days in my chat, you tell me what's going on. Like, oh, I hope they're doing well with that project. Oh, I hope their, their schoolwork is going well. You know, I'm always thinking of you guys. Loving Dudley every day. I love you every day! I've infected Dudley's brain. Yeah, Alistair. I was thinking the other day, actually. The, like, and it's always just like at random times, you know? I was thinking, like, Alistair's like really funny. Like, I feel like Alistair's- Alistair makes me laugh all the time, like, in, in chat. Like, I feel like you have a lot of, like, funny, like, one-liners and things. I think I told you that, actually. I think I told you the day that I thought that. <laughs> I think I mentioned that to you. so much for coming. Alistair best jokes on earth. <laughs> it's true. No, you guys are so funny though, you know? Like I I feel like like I I always try really hard to be funny, right? But I feel like you guys make me laugh like just as much as I question mark make you laugh, so it's nice, you know, it's nice. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you for always supporting me. And thank you for coming to this debut. Thank you for timing, taking time out of your schedules. To come. I'm kind of new, but we're always good friends. Of course, of course, Chris. Look, you, you, you pop up in my chat, you're my friend. You never fail to make me smile. Aw, Daisy. You're hilarious. Thank you, Verb. I'm glad. I'm glad. Of course we came by. I know. Thank you guys so much. When I when you guys were like when you guys were in the chat like hours before the stream started, I was like so emotional. I was like, oh my god, that's so funny. I'm like getting like just the way that you guys show me like so much love and support. Oh my god, I don't wanna cry. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, whoopsies. I was trying to- I was trying to scroll in the chat, but I made myself big. <laughs> I love you to the end of the universe and back you make my heart feel- Oh, Misty, I feel the same about you! So happy to be here, homie. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you! At least legitimately endlessly watchable. Alistair, thank you! I love all the interactions we have. Dips, I love you! Dips, you are just the sweetest person. Like, like, I'm so- I'm so happy that I- like, you reached out to me and that- we're siblings, we're officially siblings now, so now we have to do a sibling collab. Your situational comedy chops are wonderful. Thank you! Thank you. I would have waited in chat sooner if I could have. Oh, I finally remembered how I described this model. Resplendent W. Yes, Gray, Gray called this model. I showed this model to my subs uh, before in my Discord, and Gray called it Resplendent W. <laughs> Which I think is pretty accurate. <laughs> Yeah, Dip send me more slime ASMR. I love slime ASMR. This new model debut is missing tears. You're right. Yeah, wait, I can cry. Hold on. But this makes it look like it's sad tears. It's not sad tears. Like I can't I can't even actually like smile. <laughs> yes, I'm awakened doubly. Yes. In five years, I learned hockey. I'm back. We need the rat. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I don't wanna cry. I feel like such a loser when I cry. <laughs> On stream. Love you so much, always and forever. I love you! Thank you guys for- Like, I- uh, I feel like I'm just repeating myself, but thank you for always supporting me. Supporting my silly little- My silly little hobby. I love being a VTuber. I love spending time with you guys. Get appreciated in love, dork. Oh, sending I love. Oh, Iris, thank you so much. Thank you, Iris. Iris just had um their own redebut. Oop had to do a silly read. Iris, thank you, thank you for bringing over your your community. Thank you so much. Iris just had a redebut too. Iris is very cool now. Iris has green hair. <laughs> I had a follow about thing I was worried about sending it out. Oh, okay, I see. That's okay, Iris. No worries, no worries. Thank you for coming, though. Thank you for bringing your community. I really appreciate it. Digital Rocket, welcome to the vlog. Welcome, welcome. So happy to have you. Give everyone your link. Thank you, Iris. Thank you. If anybody hasn't seen Iris's new form, very cool. It's got green hair. I really, uh, it's like goth. It's very cool. It's very, very like, I don't know, dark, gothic. Cool. Sexy. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah, space buns. If you haven't seen Iris's new outfit, definitely. Definitely check it out, guys. This looks amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Darren, welcome to the vlog. Welcome. Welcome. Is that 880? I think we hit 880. I'm talking about me, look at you! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> oh, baby kill's coming back. 880! Let's go! Let's go! What should I do for 900? Do karaoke again. <laughs> Even though I keep saying I'm not gonna do karaoke anymore, and then I keep doing karaoke anyway. A backflip? I think I would break my own neck. <laughs> Dove reviews anime for 900 followers? I think people would boo and throw tomatoes at me. Eat the mic? I can do that now if you want. <laughs> Raft stream? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do a hand cam stream. Like, I, I had fun doing it, but it makes me so nervous. I get so scared that I'm gonna like show my face somehow. Spin the model around? Oh, okay, good idea, good idea, hold on. Wait, let me, let me make myself small. We did it! <laughs> we did it! Show feet! There you go. Here's my feet. Eat. Steppies. Yeah, I can I can do steppies now. <laughs> Sniff. Yeah, do you guys you guys like my uh <laughs> you guys like my pouch? <laughs> I really liked it. When I saw that, I was like, yes! <laughs> this is what I want. <laughs> Kyria, hello! Hello! Welcome in! But yeah, I really liked that. I was like... I was like, ooh, that's fun. This wild is gorgeous. Thank you! Thank you! I really liked it. She was a kangaroo this whole time. No! Yeah, but I, I really like it. It was worth the wait. I'm super happy with it. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. The tummy is so good. Yeah! I like the tummy. And I also like when I, um... You can, like, really, like, see the side of the, the skirt when I turn. I really like that. Like, it actually, like, turns quite far. I think that's cool. <laughs> I really want to figure out if I can consistently mlem. I'm gonna try to do it. I, I did it! I did it for a second! I did it for a second! The 
it's a little bit hard to the the tongue the tongue is a little bit um tongue's a little bit difficult <laughs> to work with. Jara, I'm not I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> I learned my lesson. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Chat getting lost in those eyes. Yeah, aren't the eyes pretty? Let me let me see if I can kill. You can see my heart irises. I was very specific when I asked for them because they're very important to me. They still have the heart. Yeah! The heart is very important. Cute, thank you. Thank you. The cutest, thank you. I have too much fun with that now that I can like move my head up and down like that. Side effect of encountering Krom, it's true. My my irises were normal before I saw Krom. And now they're hearts. <laughs> well yeah. I really like it. I'm I'm like, I don't know. Like when I first got this model back, I was just like staring at it because I was like, ah, I love it so much. That's some strong husbando reaction. Yeah, my heart's- my eyes were permanently changed when I saw Krom. Permanent. I also like how shiny my boobs are. Very shiny, I like that. <laughs> aura! Look- wait, is that actual aura? Wait, no, is it? Wait, hold on. Is this actually- Oh my god, it is or Aura! Oh my god, thank you so much for the follow! Thank you! Nice shiny boobs! Thank you, Aura! Oh my god, Aura! Thank you so much, I'm a big fan! Thank you! Oh my god, I got so excited, I moved my screen. <laughs> Aura, thank you so much! Thank you for the follow! Thank you! Thank you so much for stopping in well, thank you! I really appreciate it! You look so cute! You're so cute! Thank you! Oh my gosh, Aura! Wait, why am I not following you? All is well with the world. Welcome, Aura! <laughs> I know, I was like, I was like, Aura! <laughs> that can't be the real Aura, right? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, it is! Thank you, thank you. Mom, get the camera. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my god, I'm like, oh. oh. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm stuck behind a far crowd, but I want you to know you look super cute. You're super cute, Aura. I'll type it in chat so she can see it. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! She's free! Aura, thank you so much for coming! Thank you for following! Thank you for stopping in! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> I'm sorry that you came in as a- May I see the shoes? Of course! Of course! Oh, thank you for gifting a sub to Aura! Thank you! <laughs> Yeah, Aura, thank you for stopping by! Thank you! These are feet specifically for Aura, okay? <laughs> These are cute shoes, thank you! Yeah, I really like them. Very cute shoes, thank you, thank you! Oh yeah, we got the... I'll, I'll zoom out so we can get the... <laughs> feet, delicious! <laughs> Yay! Yay, yay, yay! We now know the price for feet fix. Yep. <laughs> Tasha, yeah, Tasha, your sub amount is getting is getting out of hand. <laughs> getting a little crazy. <laughs> Don't look at it. I can't not look at it. I see it every time you give some. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I was actually I was I was about to end. About to end. Now I'm like, oh my god, Aura's here. I gotta I gotta do something funny. <laughs> Guys help. Well, let me see, um, let me see who we can raid, guys. Quick, Mlem! Oh yeah, I can Mlem for her. Hold on. Let's Mlem for Aura. It's hard to get it to not, um, say pee pee poo poo, pee pee poo poo! <laughs> Quick, clown juggle! <laughs> I need, I need some balls! It's hard to get it to do it without the, the teeth showing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want the teeth. No teeth. Balls equals funny. Yes, you're so right. You're so right. <laughs> True. <laughs> Thank you for pitying it. Thank you for pitying it. Yeah, I, I like, um, sometimes I can get the... I like when you can see it at the side. It's so like, it's a little bit finicky. I, I think I need to like, I think I need to adjust the ringing settings somehow to make it like less difficult for it to come out. But I'll, I'll work on that. I'll work on my, my tongue physics. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you. Uh, we were just finishing up, so I think, um, let me see who we can raid. And Aura, thank you again so much for coming! I can't believe you're here, thank you so much! And thank you for the follow, thank you! Hi, cherry stems for practice. I- I can't- actually, I can- I can make, like, a hot dog. I can't really- <laughs> I don't- I don't think that works! I can't believe I'm here because you're very cute. You're very cute, Aura. You're very cute. A hot dog out of a cherry stem? I, I, I guess you could do- I mean, that, that doesn't seem particularly difficult, though. <laughs> you're doing great, great sweet. Thank you. It was so fun being here. I'm so glad you guys came. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Women! Women! I love women! Okay, let's see. Let's read. Incredible stream. Only other time I ever get to visit the subathon, and this is even better. Oh, Spartan, thank you! Thank you! You guys make me happy, thank you. I was going to break down into gay panic the second that this camera turns off. You're correct. You're correct. Did you get the couch from the subathon? I did! I did! The couch is uh, in my living room that you guys funded, so thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for my couch, guys! Thanks for my couch! <laughs> I love you guys. Okay. Um, we're gonna raid Baka because... Baka said that he was gonna raid me, and so I'm gonna raid him before he can raid me. <laughs> Chat funded a couch. Chat did fund a couch for my subathon. I did a subathon for moving funds, and they raised enough money to get me a couch. So thank you, Chat, for my couch. Thanks to you, I'm not sitting on the floor. <laughs> I appreciate it. We can see the couch. What do you mean? Yeah, that's the couch right there. Right there. That's the couch. <laughs> yeah, sub couch. We love you too, Dub. I love you, Chris. Thank you. Reception. Yeah, we're gonna rate Baka before before Baka can raid me. Oh, I accidentally did. <laughs> instead of slash raid, I just did slash Baka. <laughs> thank you for streaming. Thank you for coming. Aura, thank you so much for the follow and thank you for being here. I'm so starstruck. Thank you. Thanks for the amazing time, Dub. Thank you for coming, Saru. I hope you guys really like the lore video. Thank you so much, guys. That's supporting Dove's ass, like always. It's true. It's true. 
Great re-debut! Yay! Thank you guys! Yes, we actually remembered to do the dove raid. I always forget. <laughs> I'm gonna make a raid message for real. Yeah, thank you guys! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Good night, everyone! Thank you for coming! Thank you for being here! You nailed it! Thank you! I'm sorry, I feel like I'm just saying thank you over and over, but I'm, I'm so grateful. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. You killed it. Thank you. Good night, good night. All right, guys, I'm sending you over to Baka. Let's let's scare him because he's playing Labyrinthine and then he's gonna, he's gonna freak out. <laughs> Such a good stream. Thank you. Rest well. Yeah, you guys have a good night. Take care of yourselves. Get lots of sweep. Get, get lots of sweep. Get lots of sweet. Get lots of sleep. Drink plenty of water. Take care of yourselves, okay? I love you. Goodbye.